The Terra Nova targeted intervention. It's data driven and it's a differentiated instructional model. Three years ago, our team leader came to us, the seventh grade team at Vicenza Middle School, and asked us if we'd like to try something different to help our students succeed with the Terra Nova scores. I was fortunate enough to be in the DODIA task force in 2009, where middle school educators and administrators DODIA-wide met to look at the middle schools in DODIA. One of the discussions was how to use data to help our new middle school students. There was a school in Puerto Rico who shared their approach, which they called targeted intervention. And as with all good ideas, I borrowed it and modified and adjusted it to Vicenza's needs. We took a look at it and uh, decided, yeah, a little additional work in the classroom, it paid off and big time for us. So in the past two years, I've seen our Terra Nova scores go up across the board, and we'd like to share this process with you. So to begin the targeted intervention, we had to make students aware of the Terra Nova itself. And this is something that I think is missing many times in the educational process. Students see their scores, but they don't understand those scores. Or parents see the scores, but they don't understand the scores. So we brought the score, the rubric of the Terra Nova up on the smart board and we explained to students, this is what the Terra Nova means. If you get an 80%, this is actually what it means. Or the group performance level, we went through that rubric and saw this is what a five means, this is what a four means, a three, a two, and a one. So we just made students understand the test itself and then we met individually with every single student and we talked about their personal Terra Nova scores from last year. We had a letter that we gave to the students that would eventually go home to the parents where the students and the teacher we met together and discussed this is my score last year, the student scored last year, this is what we want to do to improve based off of that group performance level assessment. Students set personal goals of where they wanted to improve. These letters, they went home to parents, so there was a communication between the teachers, students, and parents, and came back signed. We hold on to these letters, and after the Terra Nova's finished, we actually meet with students again individually and review their current Terra Nova scores compared to last year's scores if they met their goals and readjust and modify for new goals for the next year. We divided the students into rotations based on the group performance level report of the Terra Nova. We chose this report instead of percentiles because the performance levels indicate what students can do in terms of the content and skills measured in that particular test. The students were then grouped during advisory time to meet with each of the teachers in the core area so they learned individual strategies for that subject. So after we've broken the students into differentiated groups, then it's up to the teachers in their classrooms to differentiate individualized instruction based off of the students' levels. So for example, in language arts, I had a few different differentiated groups, and so when a certain group of students came in, for example, I had smart board activities where they were coming up, correcting sentences, editing things that would be on the same skills that they need to be able to accomplish on the Terra Nova. And then I adjusted that when another group came in and the level, the skills were a little bit harder and um, met their needs, so hopefully that they could improve on that group performance level. So basically it's up to the classroom teachers to differentiate instruction based off of the different students' levels that they've come up with in the targeted intervention. After the students had taken the Terra Nova, we wanted to see if indeed their scores had improved. So we looked at their scores as sixth graders in 2009 and compared them to their now scores in 2010 as seventh graders. What we saw was that there was indeed measurable improvement. Uh, for example, in the area of math, 19.4% scored in the top quarter percent. In 2010 as seventh graders, 35.3% scored in the top 25%. The following year, as 8th graders, in their Terra Nova scores, we could see, again, measurable growth. There were 36.4% of the students in the top 25% and 50% of the students in the second quarter percent. There are two main reasons why this worked. The first was the role of the students. Once they understood their previous scores, they could set realistic goals based on their own personal expectations. And because they felt informed, the students felt like they were in control and they were more motivated to be successful. The second part was the role of the teachers. We didn't know if this was going to work, but we gave it a shot. We tried to be energetic and positive, and we tried to transfer that energy over to the students. And in the end, it worked. The student scores improved. As you can see, uh, this, this program has worked for us, and the uh, seventh grade team at Vicenza is real happy about it. So if you're interested in any more information, please don't hesitate to contact us.